Hi everyone, I'm Lisa. And I'm Jenny. And we're the Shady, Shady Trees, Trees Stitches, coming to you in delayed slow motion again because I am up in Maitland near Newcastle, two hours north of Jenny, who lives in Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Um, we welcome back our returning friends as well as anyone who's new and maybe finding us for the first time. Um, if you like it, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, and that way you'll know when we put up new videos. Jenny and I do one, well, sort of do two a month, but they're both at the same time. And I do one or two in between um, times. So kick back, grab your stitching and enjoy. This is our March wrap up. And wow, I'm just going to say I had some finishes in March. What about you, Jenny? Well, well. Definitely one one that I was saying was finished for um, display purposes, but it's not. <laughs> so one yes and one sort of. Yes. That's pretty good though, Jenny, having two two sort of finishes for you. Yeah. Um, and one's not just a finish, one's an FFO. It is. So do we have any pictures we can put in of them? Because I know that we can't see them. Tell the people in case they weren't here last month to find out why they can't see them. Okay, so I entered two pieces at the Sydney Royal Easter Show um, in in the arts and crafts competition. Didn't win anything, but they 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 get displayed. Um, and was, this year, I, I there was only one case of embroidery, and that was cross stitch and. Um, wall hanging and black work and like all of the things. So Liz, who you've you've seen on some of our um, retreat videos, she entered five cross stitch embroidery pieces and they were all in this one case. Normally there's two yeah. cases of, of stuff. I mean there there were there was only one case of decorated cakes this year. Amazing ones. Like someone did a, a cake that was a row of three terrace houses. Wow, that's fantastic. Someone did Alice in Wonderland, like the book with the writing and then some of the characters spilling out of the book. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so so not so many things. Anyway, um, yes, okay, so I will show. Yeah, show us the pictures and then we might, did you take any general pictures of the case? No. Oh, that's a shame. I went with two boys this year. I know. Year. So yeah. they they were they were happy to come with me to see my things displayed, but yeah, that, that it, was it. it wasn't really their cup of tea. No. Um, okay, so this one's my FFO. So if you remember last month I had like maybe 20 back stitches left yeah, to go. That's beautiful, Jenny. And you did such a good job with the tassel on everything. Yeah. Basically doing the little, like the little strawberry seeds, that was all I had left to do. So totally assembled, had to make the tassel. Um, and you can see that, it's, yeah, it's it's a little pillow, little stuff pillow. Mm. Um, Very nice. And, and so I entered it with the scissors attached because it's meant to be a scissor fob. And I thought that made more sense than having the long loop because like what's yes. it for? Um Although maybe if I'd put the long loop without the scissors, they might have displayed it the right way up. <laughs> it's sitting with the tassel at the top. But I'm wondering if that's because because of the scissors, they couldn't get it to sit right with the tassel. I don't know. Anyway, it got displayed, so that's all good. Um, so this was entered in the small gift or novelty displaying needlework section. Um, and the piece that won, they'd made like a little sort of, I think eight page book and it had hard anger and cross stitch and yeah. satin stitch and a lot more variety of stitches. Like a stitch bible. So, yeah. Um, so that was my FFO. So that didn't really like, yeah, as I said, it was maybe 20 back stitches mm -hmm. in March. So I, I don't really count those stitches. Okay. And then the other one was my verbena. Oh, hang on, I've got to press share before I go to the pictures. So this is where my Verbena One Family Quaker started March. 
So I still had a fair bit to go. I had, you know, this whole corner down here, the the one here, I had the border to go. A, a, a fair chunk of stitching yeah. still to go. Um, so that one got 1,191 stitches to get it to. Now, this is a photo, as I said, I didn't take, take many photos at these two. This is a photo that Liz took of my piece at the show. <laughs> because, um, so I was, Liz and I drove out there together and we were sitting in the car out the front for me to try and finish stitching. That doesn't um, sound familiar, Jenny. I don't recall doing that with you in previous years. No, no, of course not. Liz took the Friday off work to do it. I couldn't do that because it was month end. Yeah. But, um, so I, 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 I didn't get it finished. So as you can see, the border doesn't go all the way along the top, but where I've stopped, it's in line with the diagonal. Yep. So that I figure it kind of looks like it could be finished. The thing that makes it glaringly obvious that it's not finished is the big blank space here. Yes. Because one, I ran out of time, and two, I haven't quite decided what initials or mm. how I'm going to do it, whether I just put a J, like maybe I do the, the this squiggly bit with the J in the middle. Do you know what I would do? I would re I think it would look really good if you did a capital J with a little ST and a capital Q. I don't know that there's, there's room. Yeah, I could fit that in there. Well, I'd I'd have to I'd have to do different, um, different alphabet to the one that came with the pattern. Yeah, possibly. If you tell me how much how many you've got across and up and down, I'll see what I can do for you. Because yeah. no, I think I'm, that would I'm thinking because I'm I'm I may not always be. Jason. Well, true. So maybe so if you I could... just put the J, I'd, I'd be happy to just put a J. I just need to work out. Well, put the flowers what... on either side and a J in the middle. Yep, that would work. Yeah. People, Jenny needs your help. What should she do? Should she do the just the J? Comment below. Or if she should put JSTQ, um, comment that below. Let her know. See what she, what you guys think. It might help her make her mind up because she's been pondering this for months. Yes. And as previously discussed, I did put the rose in instead of the sheep. Mm -hmm. I made a pink rose on this side. Just I just mirror imaged that one. Because, um, yes, on the pattern, it was supposed to be a sheep, and that, that never made sense to me. So no. I changed that one. But, yes, Fair so, enough. so that's, that's almost finished. Um, so when I get it back, I am actually going to have to unpick. You can see up the top here, it's all pink at the bottom but blue at the yeah. top. So I'm going to have to unpick that bit. I was thinking as I'm stitching up this side, how am I going to get the colours to work when I get to the other corner? Yeah. So th there may be a little bit more sort of fussy cutting of the thread to get it to do. Like I, I, I haven't been making it exactly mirror image side to side because that's impossible. But it needs to be more color matching than it currently is just up yeah so. maybe maybe just continue from where you are on the other side and then see how it yeah, lands yeah, up. yeah yeah because that's where the thread finished so the yeah. color is ready to keep going that mm -hmm. way but yes i will need to undo because i'd got to i'd got to the corner and so it was a new thread to do this bit yep so i'm happy to unpick even just unpick one side of it i well I'll, I'll work it out when i get back Yes, oh, there you go. Okay. So, yes, so there you can see it was displayed. So NFS is not for sale. Pretty much yeah. all of the cross-stitch stuff is not for sale. So, yes, so there's my my finish and my almost finish. Well, that's pretty good. Well, can I just say that we are on fire, Jenny, because you've got almost two finishes, which is unheard of in your world. And, 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 I... and it, one's an FFO. And yes. you've, I know you've got at least two FFOs. Well, I've got two. I've got three sacks for the month of March. Three so, now. Yes, three sacks, which means start and finish. So there are three projects that I have started and finished. The first one is FFO of my Biscornu, which I we had to make our own bottom. And so I've just done it. And I really enjoyed doing this and I love stitching it up. So it's given me some ideas for further design so 
that's my biscornu. If silks for you, um, I can't remember the name of the pattern, but it was a seaside sort of pattern. And using a lovely silks for you thread, and we had the wonderful class with Joe where we learned all about how to make it so that it, you know, looks the same and everything. It was really worthwhile. So 100% recommend going to a silks for you class with Joe if you get a chance. Um, my second one is my name tag, which I will put a picture in here because I can't find it at the moment. It's somewhere, but. You know, I haven't, still haven't unpacked all my shop stock from the trip. So um, it's somewhere. And the third, um, Saf, I can't show you um, because it is, ah. it is a model stitch for the Big Stitches Retreat. I think I know. Retreat. Is, is this one you were stitching the other it's, night? Yes. It's, on this, it's on this beautiful garden meadow fabric. So With I have more silks it. for you. Using silks for you. And I have finished it. I have got the model stitched ready. So what's going to happen is that this pattern is my gift to the goodie bags in the um, Vic Stitches retreat. They have a very economical retreat where it's only like $50 for people to go. Um, and so all the goodie bags are donated. But I will have the silks for you and the fabric packs available for people to purchase. Um, and I think this one's going to look really good in one of those little IKEA frames we got, Jenny. So... Um, that's very exciting and yeah so that's what I've done I've also been busily stitching other pieces which I'll show you in a second but just while I've got it um, I've also designed the piece for the stitching the mountains retreat and it's going to go on this lovely blue sky fabric so for the winter in the mountains so just because I had them both pulled out at the same time I'll show you that now so I can put them away <laughs> All right, what have I stitched on? Well, I've stitched on lots of things. I think I think I've stitched on another one that I don't have on me at the moment to show you because I can't remember. I didn't write down where I filmed up to on the cruise. Ah. But basically I've started and finished the piece for the big stitches. I was working on my bedroom stitch count cell from Paddock Lane yeah. Designs and I am caught up, people. But we've got all of Melda Marcos's shoes in January. Got a whole bunch of hats for February, including we had to squeeze the next one in because it was 29 days. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. March is all the shirts hanging, and I was devastated that the big shirt ended up being grey. Grey is my colour for zero. Now, it wasn't zero that day. It was actually 63 stitches, but I didn't get to 100. But because I just, like, record it and stitch later, but, yeah, so that's totally up to date now for January, February, March. And in April, we're now hanging the trousers and things down on this shelf. Uh -huh. So I did a lot of stitches on that one. And I also did a bit of work on my, my Savannah's curtsy. I had to do a 1,000, well, I meant to do 2,000 stitches in white, but... Um, Ooh. That's where she's up to so far. So you can see she's coming on quite well. So I finished the white. So close. I finished the white in her dress. So I just got to keep chipping oh. away at her. Yeah, the rest of it's all greys. So her dress is nearly a done. bit more of the the dark. Is it dark red? Yeah, yeah. There's obviously more red yeah. coming down the side. So yeah. I've got to do about that much floor again. Mm -hmm. the, the red and grey in the dress her head and the rest of the welcome sign so yeah it's um it's progressing quite nicely so as I said just over a thousand stitches on that one and, and she's I, a little bit unusual for for mirabilia's in that you don't see her face no she's a very early one most of the mirrors like the lady is either front on or or um, side on to the to the picture but Savannah's got her head down so you don't see her face she does and the second piece I worked on was another mirror Ooh, Nora yes. my mermaid and I was working mostly I finished all the, the dark brown lettering and I was working on the red hair and I'm doing a um, cottage garden thread conversion and silks for you and whatever else I'm doing my own colors to in exactly the way the colours that they were. Mm. Um, so I did some more work on my mermaid as well. So that, my dear friends, is the only stitching I can show you for this video, which, you know, it doesn't look like much, but 
when you think about it, I've done like a thousand on Savannah. I did about oh thirteen hundred on the bedroom to get it caught up. I was going to say there'd be a fair bit in that. Yep, yeah. and then the staff, the staff of the piece for the Vic Stitches retreat, which is about about another seventeen hundred stitches. Mm -hmm. um, finishing off the Biscornu and a couple of hundred on the mermaid. So yeah, been quite good. So all in all, people, it's the end of March. Well, it's actually the first of April. I had. I don't think we've said that before. No, um, I had a pretty good stitching month comparatively, and my total was sixteen thousand six hundred and ninety six stitches, which is going much nicer than the previous month. Double last month. It's double last month. It's back where it should be. Like January was fifteen thousand. That's you know that's about where I'd like to be somewhere around there. Um, but February, I was like down to eight. Um, my weeks, well, the first week was only a few days, so it was 911. Then I had 4,769, 3,881, 3,211, that was actually the cruise week, and 3,924. So, you know, I think around that three to 4,000 is where I'm happy. Um, so, yeah, so that was pretty good. What about you? You had you gave us the numbers before. Oh uh, yeah, but I haven't I haven't shown you. No. So that that was that was early stitching. That had to be in that was submitted, I think, the eighth of March. And because I'd had such an intense week that first week of March, didn't do much stitching after that until this weekend. So I did some work on my on suit saison. Mm -hmm. So previously it looked like this. <laughs> Love that. And now there's the beginnings of a house. There is. So a big yellow hoose. Yes. So what Lisa was saying before about stitching with variegated. So because the hang on, I need to get my fingers in the right spot. The grass is variegated. It's only half crosses, but I did that in vertical rows because that's how grass grows. But for the house, if I go in closer, you can see I've done horizontal. Mm -hmm. Which is good. It looks more like a weatherboard or something. Yeah. 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 So Excellent. It's, it's not a very wide house. Like that's that's the full width of the house. Wow. It is a skinny house. It's a skinny house. But that's because it's dwarfed by all the enormous plants. So, um, so that's exactly 200 stitches in yellow. Very good. Um, so all up, I've done 1,391. Which is really good for you. Well, it, good for this year, yes. Um, previous months, previous two months, I didn't even make it to 1,000. No. But it's not, it's not a lot. No. Um, it's... I think last year I was more like, well, some months were, were crap, some were a bit better than that, but generally it was sort of around one and a half thousand. But yeah. yeah, that was the intense stitching and then needing a break and then work stuff and then health stuff and yeah. Life. Life, yes, life definitely. All right. So that is our stitching for the month. Mm -hmm. Um what are your immediate plans? Um, well, now that I've done the, oh, and so the Easter show ones, we can collect them next weekend because the show hasn't finished yet. Um, so I kind of feel like when I get that back that I should finish the border so that it's done rather yeah. than having hanging around. And you'll have the comments from this to tell you what to do in the box. Yes. yes. Um, but other than that, I really need to get moving on my peaceable kingdom because the nephew that that's for, there was a joke that I wouldn't have it done by his 21st and the clock is ticking because he turns 21 just after Christmas this year. So yes, I think I need Jenny to, needs to focus on that. Yes. So I think what I will do is make that my main focus yep. and then because it's a Teresa Wensler and it's kind of intense, then I'll have something, I, I don't know, 
something uh, relaxing uh, on the yes. slide. So therefore, probably one that's on Ada mm -hmm. because it's it's easier for counting. Like that's why the the um the yellow house that was a bit slow going because it's mm -hmm. it's even weave, it's 36 count, it's pale thread on pale material. And I don't like I, I haven't like I'm creating the scaffold now to give me stuff to count off to yeah. Um so yes, so I if I have a an Ada piece, so maybe one of my maybe my little um dimensions, the heart shaped Christmas ornament or something like that. Yeah, yeah that sounds like I a think. good plan. Um my plans are obviously it's a new month, so I get to start through my um rotation of my essential pieces so getting a block of hawk run done my whip go pieces were called and i've got macintosh mill again <laughs> and i've also got once upon a fairy tale Ooh. so there's a thousand stitches on each of those needs to be done so they're the essentials and then my um, fairy tale um, town and also charlotte warrington so those pieces are the essentials as for what I interject that with, you're just going to have to watch the April planning video to find mm -hmm. out what what fits in with the plans of the of the games that drive me. I have decided that I'm definitely sticking to just the the monthly games things. I'm not trying to do any weeklies anymore. I liked having the monthly. It meant that the last few days I could get home and you know knock over. I actually did um, four designs and I stitched one, so um, being able to get a bit of time back to do. You know, some designing, which is great because um, I've got a lot of things coming up and I need releases for all of them, including the online Needlework Expo in August again in America. So I've been busy working on those. Um, so I'm glad that, you know, just getting them stitched in the most um, highest order. Yeah. All right. So that's the plans. Um, do we have an, an Australian word of the week? I didn't have a word. But I have to tell you about Easter because Easter is very different here. Easter is one of the only two days in the year that the Australia shuts down for, one being Christmas Day, the other one is Good Friday, where the only things open basically are a petrol station and Maccas and things, yeah. like supermarkets. And, and Sunday. It, Good Friday and Easter Sunday. Well, it, no, but Easter Sunday you can go to some shops. Some shops are open. But on Good Friday, there's nothing open. There's, you can't even get food. You can't get anything. Um, there's just, you know, a couple of services and that's about all. Whereas Good um, Easter Sunday is also a holiday, but you can go to the shops. And then because Easter Sunday is a Sunday, we actually have today off, which is Easter Monday. So we have a four-day weekend over Easter that's, that's got two public holidays on either side of it. Um, Usually that falls in the school holidays, so I don't usually give two hoots about it, but this year it didn't. We've still got two weeks of school left, so I actually got a day off for the first time in ages, um, which is great. Uh, not today because I don't work on a Monday often anyway. Um, yeah, so that's the thing that's different in Australia is that it's actually public holidays on Friday and Monday, yes. and you can't even get you know groceries on the Friday. That's how much of a holiday it is, so... Yeah, I mean, S Sunday, it's, yeah, there are a couple more places open, but it, most things are still shut. Supermarkets and all of the department stores and stuff like that are, are shut. Um, Bunnings was shut. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 So it's a, and it's I a think it's holiday. because and th the reason there are a few more things open now is that over time, like Australia started off as a predominantly English country or in, like um yeah, and, English Christian yes and so it's one of the major Christian holidays but now that we are more multicultural more multi-religion yeah um there are because yeah not it, not everyone celebrates Easter or even no. if they do it's not always at the same time as Christian Easter True. yes so yeah but there you go so that's your little bit of knowledge for the for the week, even so it's not actually a word. Um, did the Easter Bunny bring you anything, Jenny? Uh, yes, yes. I got a little row of dark chocolate rabbits from my parents. Perfect. There you go. Um, well, that's definitely the Easter Bunny bringing you something. Yes. And um, 
yesterday we had uh, family lunch. Um, not as many people as we were originally planning because one of my nephews, 10 year old nephew had a cold. Oh, and so enough. the brother that's about to move house, they that family decided they couldn't afford to be sick. So no, they, they didn't, didn't come. come. Um, Fair enough. So I, I joined in the Easter egg hunt with James, age 10, and Ben, age 5. Oh, lovely. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. How about you? Um, I did. The Easter Bunny brought me uh, one little bag of um, Cadbury cream eggs, which are my favourite, and being the little ones. I like the big ones because I like the creaminess of them better, but there's too much chocolate and not because I don't eat that much anymore. I just can't. Um, yeah, so the little eggs are better. Although um, my daughter was away at grandma's for the weekend and she's home now, so my eggs may not last much longer. <sighs> so anyway, not to worry. Okay, let's move on to haul and stitching kindness. Do you have any haul and stitchy kindness? Well, it's kind of stitching related, but it's kind of not. Always a fascinating a start. I bought myself a new handbag. Oh, oh, that is gorgeous, Jenny. Oh, I love it. Where's that from? So, um, I, <laughs> so funny story. Um, I saw it on, well, no, I saw a different shaped version of this on Facebook Marketplace. And, but there weren't any dimensions in the Facebook Marketplace ad. So I went searching for it and I found this size for ten dollars cheaper than the Facebook Marketplace one, so, um, so I bought it from a, it's like a rockabilly website. Cool. <laughs> well, yes. that is that's, that's stitching really cool. related. And, and yep. This even. Oh. It would make it so, so, a great stitching, retreat bag. Stitching, but not stitching. Yeah. And then it's even got a little oh. cat in the window on the back. So, that is so, cute. Yes. So this this particular brand, Vendula London, they have a whole bunch of different shops <laughs> and things. So there's um there's a pottery shop, there's the theatre, there's an Italian restaurant in handbags in, in a variety of shapes and sizes. So well, there you go. Is that all? Yes. That's okay. All. No worries. I have got stuff all right I um got my new bag of the month my project bag of the month from Simply Norell gorgeous blue and green like roses Ooh. really great quality they're, they're sort of the like the quilted feeling but without the quilting on it yes yeah, so and slightly padded yes slightly padded and in it was not just the bag, but there's goodies Ooh. as well. There is a gorgeous handmade thank you card. Oh, pretty. Really pretty. And then she's thrown in some Mentos. <laughs> mm -hmm. This one will be going to my daughter, chamomile and spearmint mm -hmm. tea. A matching skein of DMC. And a really cute needle minder. Look at that. It's a cactus. It's like a little cactus. And what I love about hers is she puts the little magnet thing on the back Ooh. too. So really nice magnet. Oh, wait, there's more. Talking of the cactus. <laughs> there's a whole dimensions kit with an owl and a cactus. Full kit. I know. But $47.50, guys. $47.50 Australian. Is that including postage? Yeah. Yep. So I'm, um, I, I know that because I've just paid for the next month's one like yesterday. That's why it's fresh in my mind. So, guys, jump on the Simply Norell's page. I recommend it if you want to collect project bags. And like, it's such a nice size. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's a really nice size. So, well, that was a lovely, lovely bit of mail to get during the week. So, there we go. That's my project bag. Then I got another parcel in the mail. And I thought, what is that? I'm not sure what it is. Um, and then when I opened it, I went, oh, it's like an iPad case. Okay, maybe my daughter's been shopping. I mean, it's my colour. But when I opened it up, I realised 
what it was. It's a it's called a knitting board, but it clicks open and it's magnetic to hold your chart. And so it's beautiful, like it's, I don't know if you can see the beautiful sort of suediness of it. Um, and it came with these magnets to stick on, you know, stick your pattern on. So I've actually been using that here next to me. So I have a very nice magnetic board now for my charts, which is lovely. Um, and that I, would also protect it slightly. Like I've got just the plain metallic one. But when you put a piece of paper on and you have it sitting there, the edges get a little bit. Yeah. No. So you, and you can up. close it up in it. So it's really nice. I got my next um, fabric of the month from the Fox and Rabbit. And this one is called Pill Bug. And so it's the March 2024 20, fabric of the month and I got the 36 count linen. So I'm I'm building my 36 count linen stash with them. So what's it called? Pill bug. P I W L, -L oh. B U G. Okay. Um when oh, I open... that might be the little um ones that uh, no, no, they're grubs. I don't know. When I open when I opened it, I was thinking, oh, it's pretty similar to the um a previous one but it's it's a darker shade but the same uh -huh. colorway so now my fox and rabbit collection is on. <laughs> it's growing slowly growing as i said i've got plans for one of the pieces now but look i have an, i have a little collection that's a very, nice stash of neutrals yeah nice stash of neutrals um if anyone's interested, I'm doing a plug for them here because I saw that they've got a couple of spaces open for their Patreon for the level that does give you the fabric quarterly. Um, but it is $60 or $61 a month. So um, if anyone's interested, check out Fox and Rabbit. Um, but wait, there's more. I got my threads of the month from Stitch in Time and I'm up to letter P's in the weeks and I'm up to T in classic colour works. So I'll be finished with classic colour works soon. So I should nearly have the whole set, which is great for my designing. Um, I went shopping at Silks for You and I was saying to Jenny, I did actually film this up before, um, but I, um, I've i had to use them because I've decided to save the video then for, for Jenny. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm missing one. Uh, there is another one here somewhere. I can't find it quickly. Anyway, I bought the latest colours of like in their range that I didn't have yet to complete my series. So they're the latest few colours that have been released. What's the middle uh, one? And the middle one is yeah. called 209. Okay. That, that's yes. very me, greys and it, blues. And, yes, it's yes. a lovely colour. So that's part of their regular range. So what they do is they have a colour of the month and then sometimes it goes into the regular range or sometimes it's a special for this month in April, they're going to have a special because they were away. And then I also bought some threads. This one here, which was a 45-metre hang, it was a spring spring special, was very me, and it was actually my motivation for doing the model for the, um, for the Victorian retreat. But it's a bit hard to see now. I've used it. Instead, I got these hanks, so there's... This one, which has got like all those colours in it, and the pink, they go together. And this one, which has got like the oranges and the blues, as I said, wow. they're not really. And then that one's going with this one. Mm -hmm. So I got all those silks from Silks for You. <laughs> I also got, ooh, that's why I mean, there's, there's stuff buried next to me here, here everywhere, I think. Um, I also bought myself a couple of their um, their new oh, yeah. soft drops, which are a lovely acrylic. And in particular, I got the ones with the seaside bling. Mm -hmm. But they're only eighteen dollars for ten rings, so I got myself two of them as well. So um, plus, I don't know if I showed you guys these or not in my previous video, a tiny little project bag, and. Was it? As I said, I can't remember if I've shown this before. And one with cats. Don't so there, remember seeing the cats. Well, there you but, go. I don't know. Anyway, if you've seen it before, sorry. If you haven't seen it before, at least now I've shown you. But they've all gone into use because I did film it earlier and then I just found out I was going to be filming with Jenny. <laughs> so 
We're back together. But wait, that's all finished. But I got stitchy kindness. My oh. lovely friend from Canada, Ivy, sent me a parcel of some patterns that she'd finished with. And it was so sweet and such a surprise because it had been ages ago we talked about it. Look at this beautiful card she gave me. That's a card? Wow. That's a card and it comes with a pattern from Hands Across the Sea on it. Ah. Absolutely stunning. So, yes, really lovely. And then she gave me the pattern that I think this is the one I was I was probably talking to her about, Sunflowers from Cottage Garden and um, Country Cottage, I mean, and this one about pumpkins. <laughs> And then she also threw in this one because she thought I might like it from Lindy Stitches. It's Mr. and Mrs. Delicious. Oh. So thank you, Ivy, so much for those. It was a lovely, you know, surprise to get them. So yeah, nice bit of um nice bit of stitchy kindness thrown into the mix this week. So it was lovely. Um, Paddock Lane Designs update is that I am up to date with my fabric dyeing. Woohoo! One advantage hey. of not going away this weekend is I got it all done, ready to ship tomorrow except for two pieces that I have to re-dye because that sometimes happens. Um, I will send out pieces to customers if there are spots around the border because they don't use those bits, but um, if there's a spot anywhere where I think they might want to stitch on, then I re-dye it and save it for a dye spot. Um, apart from that, yeah, just, just working on my designs, getting everything ready for the next thing I have is a Vic Stitches retreat, which is the beginning of May, so only four weeks away. Um, so I'm looking forward to heading down there and I'm road tripping with my friend Kim from Zoom, which will be lovely. Um, there are a few a few retreats just being listed on the Australian Retreats page on Facebook. So if anyone's interested in finding out retreats, it's a great place to be. Um, they've just launched the, the next cruise, um, like not this year's crew, next cruise, but the next one being planned is actually at the beginning of May next year going to the Pacific Islands um, on the, from Sydney, which is much more appealing for us, Jenny, hint, hint. <laughs> um, so I just have to check on that because it's going to be, well, on the usual schedule of Vic Stitches. So I have to find out what's happening there because I can't do both of them. Um, so check that out. It's on the Aussie and New Zealand Cross Stitches, Cross Stitch Cruises at Facebook page. And on the retreat page, they've just, um, Stitch and Time has just announced the, Hands Across the Seas retreat down in Hobart where Nicola Parkman's coming out. Um, should be a fantastic opportunity, but it is quite a um, hefty price tag. And I think um, I also saw um, Brisbane's announced the next. Yes, the Nora. next Mirabilia. The next yes. Mirabilia one is also happening around, the, I think, February or something. Um, it's early next year. Early next year. So the information for that is on. I know that she's already been overwhelmed with um, responses and she's taking people's requests with a paid accommodation. So it's about, it's going to, it's $500 to attend, which includes your lunches and things. Um, and Nora Corbett will be there. And the Hands Across the Seas is $950, which includes all the meals during the day. Um, so you've just got to pay it, for your it transfer. It includes two dinners as well. And Friday dinners, night, yeah. Saturday night dinner as well. Yeah. So it's all your meals um, yeah. are included there. So it's just your accommodation and transport you've got to do to spend that time learning from one of the best, which is so exciting that, you know, Australia's getting these opportunities. So, you know, it's wonderful. All yes, right. I liked the way that that one was um, marketed, that it's Mrs Parkman's School of Needlework yes. or something. Lovely. Oh, very, <laughs> very lovely. No, so so many so many options. Yes. Um not so much my stitchy news, but um, Ned, another friend of, fr 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 another some, sometime request, uh, request, sometime retreat visitor. Yes. Um, she had her 50th earlier in March and by request, her present was a Lowry. Yay. Um, from me and Liz and two of her, no, one of her daughters, no, mm -hmm. two of the daughters. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, so the main box of Valeria, yeah, it's a big box. That's easy to wrap. But we also got her the extra long arm, which is wider than the box. Yep. And it's an L shape. Yes. So it was a good, and so we got her that and the corner clamp. And then I figured I'd throw in the the light bar 
um, because you can use it for other things, like yeah. not just the light. Mine um, holds my pen in it, actually. Yeah. Well, because I know Ned's got a, a clip-on light. Yeah. So even if he hasn't got the one that goes through the holes, yeah. you can still use the clip-on light. Um, yeah. Anyway, so it was a good thing that I'd bought myself a new big screen, which is currently just sitting there. So I had big bits of cardboard that I could fold to <laughs> because the last thing I wanted was the the bar poking its way out through the wrapping paper. Anyway. Yeah, fair enough. So, yes. Well, so that's she, a very nice 50th present. And she opened it and and set it up on the spot. So she's all ready to go. Awesome. Now, the last section is floss tubers we've been watching. And I didn't necessarily prepare you for this, but have you got any floss tubers you've been watching this week you want to recommend? Um, well, my usual ones are um, uh, um, 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 Michelle from Mama Loves You GB. She does a, a weekly one. Um and um hello from Liz Matthews. It I, I find hers quite fascinating the fact that although she's been a designer for a few years, she she's not actually that accomplished with her stitching. Like mm. she's only just discovered Q snaps. And the Lowry. Like, yeah, and well, because she normally does stuff in hand. Yeah. But um and and she she's gone on a on a mad um dimensions yes. quest she she's picking up all of the the cuz dimensions one thing that dimensions do very well is the kind of the winter scene with the the winter light and stuff like that and so that's very much mm. Liz's thing so well, that's yeah. lovely um, well, and another one that i i started watching partly to see her fabrics it's an it's a an American fabric dyer, um, Those Missing Stitches is the name of the Floss Tube channel. I can't remember what her shop is called, but she also loves books, and so all of her fabrics are named after book characters. Oh, lovely. Books and cross-stitch seem to go hand in hand. Put it there. Yeah. I, um, as well as the ones that I've been shouting out the last few weeks, I've forgotten that I've been really enjoying, obviously, watching Laura stitching by the shore. Um, Beth, um, oh, no, her name, channel name's jumped out of my head, but Beth knows who she is. Um, I think it's a contented stitcher. Um, I've also been in um, Morgan. What's Morgan stitching? Another Australian. She posted one this week, which is good. She's due to have a baby, so that's exciting. And I, um, oh, it'd be easier if I just looked at them, wouldn't it? Trying to, that's, the, that's the way it's I don't give the shout outs is I forget when I get back here. <laughs> um, so um, I was also enjoying watching Jessie Marie does stuff. Uh -huh. And um, also the I watched the Evertote one um, with Carolyn and Danielle. Yeah. Um, and I've noticed a few more tutorials coming on, like I spoke at last time with the cross stitch around the globe. Um, mm. And it's it's like what you were saying with Liz Matthews. It's like, wow, I have so much knowledge, like we both do. So we mm -hmm. need to start doing some tutorials, Jenny, because there are lots of people doing tutorials um, and we, we just take for granted that people don't know things. So, guys, again, I put it out to you. What would you like us to do a tutorial on? What can we help you with? I'm very happy to do tutorials and put my teaching degree, you know, degree to use. Um, <laughs> but I do want to, um, I do want to know, you know, not just go back to the beginning and show you how to suck it. So um, what what would you like us to show you? And and we can do that because we have got a lot of experience. I mean, Jenny and I have been stitching for years and and other people in our in our circle. We have a lot of you know access to a lot of lot of um, knowledge and experience. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna leave you because we need to go and film the um the April cross stitch challenge chat, which comes out basically at the same time. So um, you'll see our specific plans on that, but we hope you have a really good time, lots of um, lots of fun and good stitching. Bye. Bye.